hello everyone welcome back to the channel so today we are going to talk about something different than what we usually talk about in this channel exactly so uh, this is not about all the coding so as a backend developer uh, for the very long time i often have to write a very uh, complex and very uh, big uh, uh, apis on the backend side so and that requires a lot of uh, documentation on the uh, on the apis so how do i create documentation on the apis that's a very challenging things to every backend developer because when backend developers work with the apis they often face with this challenge because they have to they have to present the client with the swagger uh, collection and they have to write the entire swagger collection but i do not write the swagger collection absolutely no I do not write one single line in the swagger, but I still give my clients or uh, the clients I'm dealing with uh, with the swagger collection. So how do I make it, and how it is possible for you to do it in a seamless way? I will show it to you today. Okay. So this is uh, this is something that I'm I'm doing on a regular basis uh, for my professional work. So I would like to share with you guys as well. So do it if you are doing a professional work. It will be really really helpful to you i will show you how to do that okay the first thing is that whenever i have a whenever i have the apis i have i have to create my collections in the postman so it is a normal procedure for the backend developers to create postman collections for if everything i mean for every create update delete i have just created a sample api for everyone so that we can do the things what i do actually in the real life now this is a postman collection where there is two segments the blogs and the product very simple okay now i wanted to make a swagger collection for this uh, uh, collection exactly in postman but for swagger i have to write this now the whole thing now how can i do that okay so the first process is very simple the first process is a manual process and the second process i will show you to a package obviously okay so now when i first i first export this collection to the normal collection this is and i name this collection dot json it is saved okay so first i have to do the collection in the postman that is full proof now each and everything has been given over here the variables the base url everything is given on this postman collection okay so my postman collection is now good okay so after that there is a collection.js i have exported json file i open this json file copy this json file i go to this particular website where uh, this website it is and i paste this json file i get the swagger xml file exactly and I copy this XML file. I go to the Swagger editor, delete the whole Swagger details, paste the file, and there you go. My entire Swagger collection uh, has been created from a particular JSON file. Now it has all the fields, even it has the token. If you have put in that token into the JSON file for blog list, you can see I have put in a token over here. It is not obviously called in the token in the production areas but uh, when you put a token on the header it is also there if you go if you create you can see what kind of create elements are there you can try it with it now once this is created there is something that is that i do exactly now i convert and save it to json file open that json file Cross that JSON file and put it in my working directory where replace this JSON file. Exactly. So open AI.json file. Now, if I go into my application and write API, the entire JSON collection is with the uh, Swagger collection has been processed out with that particular json file i do not have to write a one single line element on this one exactly so the blog product everything is there absolutely now 
what if this website goes down and you cannot convert this to uh, swagger ui then this open source postman collection to open ai space comes into the picture this is absolutely fantastic type of uh, git repo i do not know uh, who um, whoever has been creating this this is phenomenal just okay uh, it's wait loading a little bit yeah it has loaded okay this is just phenomenal okay just see how it, it does the same thing for you now i will come to this section i will delete my collection dot i will not delete my collection dot json file let it keep there okay now if i go to this url of mine i will come to the code how i have generated code and write and it will generate a collection.yml the same yml file that has been generating from this collection example if you go and open this file copy this element and if you go into this section swagger delete all the things put it there it will create the same thing so this is how i create everything so first i create the collection on the postman and then i convert it to a server and this is the way you can do that so in a very efficient way so you just have to change this url to something that you wanted uh, point to or uh, there are multiple options you can put the description as well over here uh, for your project so for for this kind of thing, people who are a lot of doing the backend work, there are a lot of creating APIs per day for two to three projects. Then this is a very, very handy process for them to generate the Swagger documentation for the APIs. Now let's dive into the code and check what we have done. Okay. So first, you can see there are a couple of things. Uh, Express is normal thing. So these are the something that Swagger JDocs. Swagger UI Express, obviously I'm working with the Express, so Swagger UI Express, Postman to OpenAI, that is this package, exactly, this is the package, okay, so what I have done is that I have API docs is equal to swagger.json, so I have read the open JSON file and just put it in there, I am not writing any of this uh, API's documentation on any of the API. It's just creating from that JSON file, openai.json file. So uh, uh, open uh, api.docs is my swagger, uh, swagger link. Swagger.json is something that I have created to just see if you can click on this, you will see it has created your entire swagger collection into a JSON here. Just two lines of code, header and again that swagger.json okay now here is the thing that is converting their postman collection into a swagger xml file so the postman collection is taking the swagger.json output file is collection.yml and uh, passing through this out this is uh, where it saves without saving and it's output the console.log if you do not want it to output just comment this out okay this is using the promises and uh, uh, obviously promise uh, wait and uh, wait and see this is using the promises okay and there is also a command line for this as well you can go to the documentation you can see the documentation uh, and uh, obviously you can check that out as well uh, the code is not written by me i just copied this code out and clean this out because this is very simple code exactly so i have put that example over there uh, just uh, for the example here so the jet generator so i bring two or three technologies together to create the xml to create the swagger documentation for my uh, apis obviously i think this is this would be a really helpful for people those who are working on the back end side i think so uh, for creating the swagger documentation and they do not have to write each and every steps 
a little bit of it uh, is in every time uh, to create the documentation thank you so much for watching this video i will be putting all the things in the description if you like my channel do subscribe to my channel thank you so much